and look at that lighter. So what what kind of lighter is that, Dave? That is a tabletop lighter. Just because it's sitting on the tabletop? Yeah. Genius. This is the Traveling Brothers Cigar Review. So what are we doing today, Brad? Oh, I got something really good for us today. That's what you said last time, but wasn't that great? That's ridiculous. We're talking about lighters today. Everything fire. Big fire, little fire, and really tiny fire. Tiny fire. Well, that's actually good because my cigar's gone out, so I need a lighter. You got one over there for me? Don't have anything for you, Dave. Right. We need to talk about your... Uh, chest of lighters at some point but before we get started we wanted to give kind of a rundown Can I have a light please mate no so what we need to talk about is all the lighters that we have right so there's a wide array of lighters there's cheap ones big ones little ones tiny ones fancy yeah. ones yeah I like the cheap ones yeah you do all right so I want to just go right into it how about that so sooner I can get a lot the better mate wonderful so we're filming actually on location today at our local lounge how did I not notice? You asked for somewhere that was air conditioned and yeah. indoors. And I'm sweating. Explain and that. You're sweating. <laughs> it's because of the lights, mate. So we're gonna start with the big boy right here. This is the Folta by Zyko. Hang on a minute, hang on a minute, hang on, right. hang on, right. hang on, right. damn it. Before you start talking about the lighter, how does this work? Before you start talking about the lighter, that's a good lighter. Tell them where we are. We are in the Davidus Cigar Lounge, the Diamond Crown Lounge. Is that how you say it? I always say Davidus. It's Davidus. Is it Davidus? It's French. I thought it was like Davidus, like David. Well, David's the owner. David is one of the owners. There's two owners, right? There are two owners, and they're brothers, and they uh, allowed us to use their space today to film a video because it is extremely hot um, in the Devil's Den, so the union called, and they said that we can come down to the lounge. And they negotiated and brokered a deal. And look at that lighter. So what what kind of lighter is that, Dave? That is a tabletop lighter. Just because it's sitting on tabletop? Yeah. Genius. So we want a pocket lighter, mate. You put that in your pocket. It'd be like having a cock in your pocket. <laughs> See, I wasn't gonna go there. I'm gonna go there the entire time. <laughs> so this is a perfect lighter. Is that a lighter for... in your pocket or are you just pleased to see me? Somebody had to say it. I'm sitting next to you, aren't I? So the tabletop lighter is perfect for sitting on the table. Thank you, Dave. At your home cigar lounge, it's not something you want to bring to the lounge, right? It's somewhere where you can sit out back on the patio and have the enormous amount of fuel that this takes. Why don't you give him a close up of that over there? So this beautiful lighter rotates on the top and shoots a big old flame. I think I just burnt the camera, Dave. That was wonderful. So we're kind of going to go camera. through um, a number of different companies. And this is Zycar. And no, we're not sponsored by them, but they are one of the premier lighter brands for the cigar industry. Yeah, I really like Zycar. Zycar lighters, uh, you know, you know that old saying, you get what you pay for? Well, with Zycar you do. You get uh, a really good quality lighter every time, some really great designs. How did I end up with you then? If you know <laughs> and, and they have a lifetime guarantee. Do they really? Mm. Is that why they cost so much money? Well, I don't think they're very much more expensive than many others on the market, um, but... Um, that's a $150 lighter at your local lounge. That's a big sucker lighter though, mate. That's a... That's a, a grenade. Pretty special... You chuck the grenade at somebody. Yeah. And well, and if you do, and it breaks, they'll replace it. They'll replace it, right? So we'll stick with the Zycar theme, right? So that's the big old boy. We'll go with one of my favorite lighters, is the Turum. So I'll give a little close-up of this one. It's a dual jet lighter made by Zycar, and this is two chambers of fuel, so, mm -hmm. but it is also small enough to fit in your pocket and not tell everyone you're happy to see them. I don't know, Brad, I think that's still, I mean, that's probably big for you. Mm. But um, you said dual flame, so maybe you would tell people about that 
what you mean by dual flame. And uh, you can't really show them the end of that. Well, yes, you can if you let a bit of gas out of it. Yeah, no. But show them right into the jets of that. And you'll see in there, there's four little jets. That was a bad idea. Yep, I think I just burned the camera again. <laughs> four little jets. In this one, uh, maybe if I do it, we won't uh, damage things. You might be able to see in there. No, you can't really see unless I get it going. But two, also made by Zyko, right? Two little jets. And then you've got single jet lighters, right? I think this is a good time to tell you now that I'm not allowed to play with fire. Something happened when I was younger. Some burnt. Anyway, so um, now that we're sticking with kind of the Zycar theme, you want to stick with that? And mm -hmm. then we'll move on. Um, yeah, sure. Zycar makes these incredible tactical lighters that have this nice rugged edge to them. This is the, the Zycar tactical triple flame. What's that? Uh, there, there. <laughs> Hold on to this one because I want to show the other. I'm glad it's, uh, I'm glad it's his uh, GoPro that we're using, not mine. <laughs> so I wanted to go over this other. Um, Zycar lighter as well. So this hang on is a, hang on a minute. This what? one here, it's got a belt clip on it. That's tactical. That's nice. So you know when you got uh, like guys that we we don't man bags are not a thing. They tried to make it coming. What what what, what 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 did you say? Man bags. What the hell is that? A man bag it used to be like a man purse. Oh, it's like, it's a, like the eighties nineties thing came out and the man bags. A purse. You were not here then. It's a purse. A purse. Yeah. A man purse. A man purse. Man bag, ponytail, Those, man purse. Well, they're not a thing. They never made it. So we always carry our stuff around in our pockets, right? And you're always full. You've got your keys, you, which are key fobs now. You've got your pocket knife. You've got your Just, wallet. You need a purse. Put everything in there. You've got your lighter. You've got your cutter. So yeah, belt clip. Nice. Put it on the outside, outside of your pocket, outside of your jeans, outside of your belt. And then you're tactical. They're tactical. I like it. So these two are from the Tactical Series from Zycar. These are incredible lighters. And this one's the triple, and this is the single. And this lighter, actually really cool, comes with a cigar stand on it, which you can totally just pop your cigar on there. Oh, I like that. That's cool. Turn on. that sideways so they can see it. Yeah, let's move your bourbon out of the way. You haven't had any, you haven't Ooh. tried it, you haven't commented. Okay. It's a nice rye whiskey, actually. From a, from a local distillery in Frederick. Here we go, get the label. Oh, what are, foundation. What are, you, what are you smoking there, mate? I'm smoking the Blind Man's Bluff, the mm -hmm. Connecticut, and I'm also wearing a Robert Caldwell shirt because I'm all about the Caldwell. One day you'll let us smoke a Caldwell. One day. We'll do one soon. Yeah. Yeah. I don't believe you. Well, the next one, after this, I'm going to let you pick the cigars. Really? Yeah, you, you get to pick the cigars. That's kind of a lot of responsibility, Dan. I see if you're up to it, right? I think I am. So we're right, gonna move what right along. Got so I've got my personal favorite. This is a electric lighter, like an electric slide, but electric lighter. Mm -hmm. It's made by Vector. Um, this little guy is really cool. You hear the lighter go? It's a triple flame, and you kind of open it up. It's kind of cool. You light it once and just let it sit, and it goes. And it keeps going. All oh, right. Yeah. So I stop. saw. I saw, <laughs> so I saw somebody use one of these, and uh, they lit it because uh, actually it was, it, was, it was a friend of ours. I'll, I'll dob him in, Ian. Oh yeah, yeah. Ian, Ian lit his girlfriend on fire. Ian right. We lit his girlfriend on fire with this. So Ian's Ian's girlfriend, beautiful girl. We won't embarrass her too much. Maybe later. But uh, she couldn't work out how to get the lighter started. So. Ian flicked it open and gave it to her, and, gave, and, and as he gave it to her, he dropped it right in the lap. And then set her on fire. <laughs> Be careful. I gave a whole new meeting to a burning crotch. <laughs> you can give us some experience from the Navy about that, right? I'm not, going, not, going, there. I'm not going there. <laughs> so it comes in this really cool kind of electric blue color that I want to show everybody. Look at it. It carries your fingerprints just wonderfully well. And again, yeah, you just would, pop it would, open I'm and you go. No, I couldn't do the fingerprints. The red one's nice, though. The red one is nice. All right, what else you got over there for us? Sorry. We've got this wonderful Calibre lighter. It's called the Monaco. This is... So these are all Zycar. Yeah. And you're bringing out a Calibre. This is a Vector. This is a Vector. Victor oh, that's Vector? a, that's a vec victory Victor Vector. Vector Vector. Vector vic Victory Vector. Vector Vector. Roger, What's Roger. Vector Vector? Roger, Roger. There we go. Name that movie. Comment below. So this is a cool little Calibre lighter. 
Also a triple flame. Oh, what's going on with all the triple flames? Well, I like the single flames, personally. Giggity. Um, it's another triple flame lighter, the Monaco. Um, you know, all these lighters are pretty much in the $59, $60, $150 range. Pretty expensive, right? Yeah. So, um, if only I had some of my lighters, if I'd known we were doing this, I would have brought some of my lighters. With oh, me. I'm glad you brought that up. So every time I go over to the devil's den, you got Dave and his bucket of lighters. So here's the bucket of lighters. I don't know. Move. You, gotta you went move. to my den and you got the bucket of lighters. Every time I go over to the devil's den, I end up having to clean up the lighters and none of them have fuel in them. So there's like 50 lighters in the devil's den in every location on the patio, on the outside. Like this one? I mean, Dave, like, I mean, we gotta just, just go, go with it. Let's see what we got in here. This is all from the Devil's Den. Ooh, these oh, are really cigar cool stand. Stuff. These are nice Drew Estate cigar stands. Can there you go, you one? can have one too. What's going on with this one, Dave? Your That's my there. wife's. That's my wife's. Actually, this is another Don't Zycar. Find this is another Zycar. It's a beautiful Zycar. Uh, this is a single flame. Trudium. With no gas in it. <laughs> there we go. With There we go. Nice single flame. Let me show you over here. Brad, do you want to move my my, my uh, box out of the way there? What else you got in here? And oh, uh, let's see if we can get this going over here. This is a vertigo. Um, so what I like about the... What are you doing with all my stuff, man? See, what is this? this oh, is these a, are long That's matches. a reliable lighter. Ooh, what is that? Is that it's a... called a match. So if you get stuck in the 80s? Yeah, no, and it's long, see? It's a cigar lighter. So you yeah, get, you're get plenty of time things. to... I'll just take it away. <laughs> You're not allowed to play with fire. We'll go over that another time. Right, back to the back to the Zyka. Uh These are designed so they go inside your cigar holder. So these are like, you've got your cigar holder, maybe holds two cigars, you slip them down side by side. You're only carrying one thing. Well, two things, a cigar and a Well, lighter. three actually, but all in one package. Oh, okay, yeah, two things, one package. Sounds familiar. Yeah, very. What else you got in here? So what is what is this? This is. The, that, the Brog, Mrs. Brog. That is a famous $12 Amazon lighter with no gas in it. Everything Have in the Have you got any gas? You know, Why don't we show them how to fill up a lighter? Oh, wow. That's a great idea. Hmm. You just need a lighter without gas. All right. So. If only we had a handy thing to empty the lighter with. He holds his hand out, waiting. Ta-da! Magic. You got a stick. It's a stick. And what you do when you fill up a lighter is you're gonna use this little stick to let all the gas out. And what are you doing? In here. What are you doing? What do you mean what are you doing? What is that called? Purging the lighter? I think it's called bleeding it. Bleeding it? I'll yeah. bleed you in a minute. Tell you what. Mm. Where's my $12 lighter? <laughs> Let's see if we can get this thing working. So, you let all the gas out of it. Does it fit in the hole? It fits in the hole. And what's this gas I'm using? Oh, that's high performance butane. Explosive. Why is it important to be high performance? Because um, it performs at a high level. See what I did there? You did that to me once. So it's triple filtered gas. And you'll find it did, is, it, oh, look, my Zyka, but also empty. We'll do a demo on that in a second. So you'll find uh, with the, um, it didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> So, you bleed out your lighter, let all the gas out of it. Now you can set your hand on fire? No, it's cold. Oh, okay. It's cold. And you uh, put your little nib in there and you push down. Is that the scientific term, the little nib? The little nib, and you push down. Sounds like you're... Yeah. yeah. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna just uh, give a little burp. Here's the thing, when you light a butane lighter and then you refill it, some oxygen sticks into the lighter itself, into those little bays they have inside. Yeah. And over time, if you just keep refilling the butane lighter, all you end up doing is just putting more oxygen there and it screws up the oxygen mixture. Air, I think, is probably what we're really talking about here, yeah? Air, oxygen. Air. Thanks, scientist. Um, here we go. So this is a flat flame lighter. I love this lighter. So this is a flat flame lighter. Uh, I don't know if you can see that there. Yeah, you can see that. It's uh, really sweet. Um, really nice even burn. That's another Zycar. And I'll tell you straight up, if you buy one of these, use this. Take Why, a lever, is right? Why is Use that? this. 
it just doesn't work as well with other gases. I feel like we need a scientist to join us during this to explain this. One day we'll bring Dwayne in and he'll, he'll, he'll hit you with all the hard facts. Or the soft facts, like mm. the soft facts. So what else did you dig out here? You've got matches, I've got cutters. Why did you go and get you my a, little bits bucket? You got a, trump, a trumpet. That, that, that's a very important thing. You know what that is, Brad? It better not be something sexual. That, that is the funnel for my uh, hip flask that I've been looking for everywhere. Thank you very much. I'm glad I found it. <laughs> now I know where it is. And every cigar room needs a bottle opener. So, have you got any other lighters for us over there? I don't have anything, Dave. Well, good. So what'd you learn today, Brad? Not to trust you with fire. And how to fill up. Oh, that's cool too. That's got a belt clip on it as well. Yeah, I want to kind of stick back to the, the tactical lighters. Cause I, I mean, I bought a tactical lighter. I got the um, the gunmetal gray one. I think it comes in gunmetal, um, that like army tan. That's a single. See, I like it's someone who doesn't have a wife. I like singles because when you go to touch up, I, this is this this cigar is it's a Podomo. It's burning really well. Podomos do, but when you come in here to touch up, your single flame can just skirt around the edge really gently. You don't have to torch your whole cigar like you do normally, like that. Yeah. All right. I think that's all we got for you today. All right, traveling brothers. That's our cigar review. You guys said to keep it short, so we kept this one short. Gave you some information. Click the like button and no, subscribe. I always keep it long. Click the bell on the bottom and that allow you to see our videos as they come out. Um, kind of like, like a ding bell. Ding bell? Yeah, a ding bell. Ding bell. Ding bell. Ding bell. Ding bell.